Advance with purpose. When we consider Joshua in the Bible, we know that God chose Joshua to lead Israel after Moses. And this selection was done right in the book of Numbers. Numbers 27 verse 18. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit of leadership, and lay your hand on him. So God anointed Joshua. God led Moses to choose Joshua because he was anointed by God. And Joshua was given a special assignment in life. Uh, God told him to go and occupy the promised land. The, the territory that had to be occupied was clearly uh, spoken of. Uh, he was instilled with courage by the words of uh, uh, God's promises and God told him time and again to be strong and courageous. And so God gave Joshua a purpose. Joshua was a man who had an assignment on hand and he was called to fulfill that assignment. As we look at the lives of everybody else uh, uh, here on earth, we know that God has created each one of us with purpose and we must find out what that purpose is, live out that purpose and fulfill God's purpose for our lives. Even Jesus in his lifetime, he spoke to his disciples and, and, and said that he has come to save that which was lost. So Jesus came with a purpose to redeem us. Paul talks about the fact that he lived this life, that for which Christ Jesus called him. And Paul was also chasing after the purpose of God. God has a purpose for you. God has a purpose for me. And it's our responsibility to identify that purpose and live with purpose. And it's not just essential to know why God has created us, but to complete the assignment that God has for each one of us. 2 Timothy 4 verses 7 and 8. This is what Paul says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. So identify the purpose, live the life of purpose and fulfill the purpose of God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have created each one of us, Lord, fearfully and wonderfully. God, you've called us for a, with a purpose and I pray that each of us, Lord, will arise. We will, we will walk, oh Father God, with every grace that you've given us and God, that we will live out that purpose and glorify your name. Lord, I pray for those who may not have identified that purpose yet, Lord, that you, you will give them the wisdom. Uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for doing it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.